Hey guys, how's it going? So, today we are going to do a first impression, let's play review of a game called Cookie Cutter. It is a Metroidvania, Castlevania, whatever you want to call it, platforming, uh, beat em up type game. As always, with all of my first impression Let's Play reviews, I'm going to play the game for an hour or so until I am satisfied that I can give you my opinion of the game. If you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch the full one hour or whatever video, you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video where I will give you my quick, concise, final opinion on the game. Otherwise, if you're not in a hurry, you can just stay tuned and I will be playing the game and I will be giving you my running commentary as we play through the game and I will be telling you what I think is good about the game and what I think is bad about the game. Now, normally uh, with 95% of my reviews, uh, we have a price that we can keep in mind for the game because obviously if a bad game costs uh, five dollars then i might recommend it but if a bad game costs sixty dollars then i won't recommend it so price always comes into consideration with my reviews and unfortunately we don't have a price set for this game yet but um, I guess we will deal with that when we get to the end of the review because I might say, okay, well, uh, I would pay $10 for this game or I would pay $30 for this game, you know, that kind of thing. So um, normally we have a price to work with, but not today. Also, it should be mentioned that uh, today I am limited as to what I can show you guys. So... Um, I have not exactly an NDA, but I have agreed to not show certain things, certain areas of the game. So um, I have uh, access to the game and a pre-built a pre uh, uh, version of the game that um, the developers don't want certain unfinished areas or certain unannounced areas of the game shown before they um, feel comfortable with it so today i can show you certain areas but not other areas so if i stop recording or if you see a jump in the video then just know that i jumped or edited the video um, because certain things i'm not allowed to show you i'm allowed to play those areas i'm allowed to play the entire game but there are certain things that i cannot show you unfortunately but um, otherwise than that I am free to show you anything that I want um, from the certain areas so uh, the developer obviously sent me a key so thanks a lot to the developer and thanks a lot to uh, Reverb Inc who are the PR company for the developer so um, one thing already that um, I actually recently reviewed another um, uh, uh, one of these metroidvania um, type games and I actually liked that game but the biggest issue that I had with um, the game the game's name was uh, seventh generation and I actually actually liked that game but the biggest issue that I had with the game is the fact that the game doesn't have mouse support unfortunately this game also doesn't have mouse support so uh, i don't know what it is with um developers not adding mouse support to these types of game obviously this game is still not even released yet so it's completely possible that the developer will add mouse support in the future but like mouse support is so important like i i said it with my other review on on seventh generation like that game i i almost didn't recommend that game simply because it doesn't have mouse support if it had mouse support i would absolutely have recommended that game it's just the fact that 
the the platforming and the attacking and all of that kind of stuff uh putting all of those keys on the keyboard is just not intuitive it is not intuitive um in the slightest so um if you are able to perhaps put like your left click as the basic attack and your right click as block or parry or something like that and then maybe your your side buttons on your mouse as jump and that kind of stuff it just makes the game so much easier on pc to play now obviously you can play the game with a controller this game does have controller support um even in the in the um the pre-built version of the game that i'm playing um the game has controller support but i am not a controller player i am a pc player i play with mouse and keyboard and unfortunately if a game doesn't have the controls that i prefer which is mouse and keyboard then that is going to affect my opinion of the game it's simply the way it is you know like you can say that it's the same as driving a car a car is easier to drive when it is an automatic car if you get a manual car then that is going to make certain people not purchase that car and uh, it's the same with games if a game only has uh, manual controls which means only on the keyboard and not on the mouse that is going to affect the opinion of people who prefer to play with mouse and keyboard because you're not supporting uh, the various controller types. Obviously you get keyboard, you get mouse and keyboard, you get controller and um, if you don't support all of those different controller types, those input devices, then you are going to lose favor with uh, a certain subset of uh, players and obviously mouse and keyboard is the biggest subset of players by far the biggest and then after that is uh, controller uh, players so like an xbox controller or something like that um, and then an even smaller proportion of the the players will then prefer to only play on keyboard but by far the biggest portion of uh, players will prefer to play on mouse and keyboard and right now this game does not support that so the game supports um a movement like like you can select the menu with the mouse but um apparently not anything in game but we will see we will see what you can actually do with the mouse and what you can't do with the mouse in the game uh, when we go to the remap keys um like we can for instance see there is quick attacks and weapon attacks and stuff like that so if we go to quick attacks and we try to change that to left click it doesn't work doesn't allow you to change it to any of the mouse buttons so you can click but it doesn't do uh, anything unfortunately so that is uh, unfortunate but okay let us jump into the game first there was the void and from the void came the matter and like a cancer floating within nothingness, the megastructure, many sought to discover its secrets, but all failed. All, that is, except for Victor Garbanzos. He led the Infonet Corporation deep into the heart of the megastructure and vanished. For years he was gone, presumed lost like all others. But one day Victor returned, he emerged from the heart of the megastructure with incredible knowledge, unbelievable technologies, and immeasurable power. To the astonishment of the people, he declared that the worthy would no longer fear death, that the Infonet Corporation would forever preserve their souls in immortal metallic bodies. Metallic bodies called Denzels. 
at his command, the Denzels built the magnificent Golden City, Mecca to the Chosen, epicenter to all the knowledge and the power of the megastructure. All that was 212 years ago. The Garbanzos family and their Infonet Corporation still rule the megastructure today. No one knows what was found in the shadows centuries ago, or the true nature of the power that it gave. But the promised utopia was a lie. The Denzels aren't blissful, eternal vessels for devoted souls. They are the mechanized prisons of industrial slaves, bound forever to the will and whim of the noble corporation. Rebels fight against the tyranny, but their efforts are hopeless. Infonet's twisted armies are just too powerful. My name is Shinji Fallon. Once the engineer at Infonet, I was a part of their machine. And yes, I stood by as lives were destroyed. But no more. I will end this. My only hope is to know what they know. For that, I must follow in their footsteps and journey to the heart of the megastructure. I built my own Denzel. One beyond their control. I've manufactured Denzels before, but this one was... different. This was creation, not construction. As the spark of her took hold, there was... something. Something I didn't expect. Something I didn't even know that I was looking for. She... Cherry... gave life to me. She is my happiness. We shared a beautiful life together, but we still planned to find the truth. We just never got the chance. Because one night, Infinite came for us. So we can move left and right using the left and right on the keyboard. Let's see, the mouse doesn't do anything. I can't even. Oh, there, there's my mouse. Okay, that doesn't do anything right now. It's really interesting. Well, not interesting, but it should be noted that um, that cinematic uh, when uh, Shin Shinji, the creator, uh, was embracing the robot uh, Cherry at the end in, in, in that final scene, uh, Cherry was naked with an exposed breast. So that tells me, along with the um, the way that they were holding each other, that the creator was actually in love with Cherry. And by extension, the fact that she was naked she was probably banging her creation, which I guess she, like if you created a um, female robot, I guess a little bit of banging is not out of the question. I can't say that if I created a female robot, 
like that that I wouldn't bang the robot either, I guess. I guess I shouldn't uh, judge too harshly. They say when you point a finger, four, four fingers point back at you, so... do that really Shinji does this thing actually mean something to you just let her be Salem you got me please give her back to me I don't think so hey the gates dispose of this abomination it's time to go this guy actually sounds South African. He has a weird accent, but it sounds South African. It's either South African or he's trying to sound South African. Wait! We're not even two minutes into the game and we're already dead. Good morning, kiddo. Wasn't sure if you were ever gonna get out of bed today. Well, I'm sleeping on a couch, so that's not exactly a bed. Oof, yeah, got what I say. I've felt better. You look, you've looked better too. You have the nightmares again. Don't want to talk about it. I'm a take that as a yes. Jog lose any new memories about your primary function at least? Not even remotely, fuck my life. I know it's confusing, just give yourself some time. How's about we talk about some good news instead? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Lay it on me. You should know already, Cherry. Don't you feel it? I surely can. What the hell is that thing? Stress testing is complete and I'm happy to repeat report that your core structure is powered up and firing on all cylinders cookie cutter is fully active whoa 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 down there hold up you're saying i'm good to go i better believe it all systems are in the clear girly it's time to finally bring shinji back home hell yeah i've wasted enough time already let's freaking do this take care of yourself rose i owe ya so like uh her name is cherry so um they skipped a little bit of uh, time and information from the time that we we were squished until now so you would assume that these guys found cherry when she was squished and then repaired her somehow i don't know they they skipped a lot uh when you're right you're right and you are right i uh, listen i know my training ain't the best but i'm a call in that favor now if you don't mind you don't waste any time do you okay what you need oh i don't know no big just a huge ugly bug stole my backpack and fled under the ground it's got all my tools in it, but those creepy suckers scare the shit out of me. No way I'm going down there. Can you maybe do me a solid and retrieve it? Fine, you big baby. I'll squish that scabby bugs 
for you and grab your backpack. I'll be back before you get angry. Oh, that's hurtful, Sherry. I'm working on me every day, but I, I might need those tools if you want me to work on you. Okay, thanks. Glad we resolved this. Off you go. See you on the flip, girly. Weird that there's no music in here. Like the music is active. Yeah, the music is active. So where where did the music go? Okay, so yeah, when I click or left click or right click or anything like that, nothing happens. So that is unfortunate. Um, you can do some bullshit like um, you get some uh, remapping software that will map your left click to X and your right click to S, for instance. So you can, you can through third party software, make your left click do the weapons attacks and right click do the parry for instance you you can totally do that even though i would obviously prefer it if that was something that you could do in the game you know um but like i said i i think the game will have um mouse support when it releases um just the fact that it doesn't have um mouse support right now how, how do we go back into the game actually the fact that the, it doesn't have mouse support right now um shouldn't really um be indicative of how the game is going to be um when it uh, fully releases also stuff like missing footsteps you know there's no footsteps in your like I said, the game, I'm literally playing a version of the game that isn't even available to the public. So don't, like, obviously the game is going to have footsteps and music here, probably, and stuff like that. So don't um, let this obviously be um, off-putting or anything like that. It is going to be different in the final game. Oh, now... Now we have footsteps all of a sudden. So once I went out and in again, we have footsteps now. Okay, um, so uh, where do we need to go? What's the up button? Not sure what the up button is. I'm pressing up, but nothing is ha actually happening. So there's down. Left, right, and then up does nothing. Uh, let's have a look. Enter, spacebar, shift, control, nope. I need to look at the controls. Okay, so weapon attacks is X. Weak attacks, why is that exit? It must be Z. Uh, ability attacks is C. Parry is S. Combat ability is D, evade is A. You see, this this is the bullshit. Like, you can't play a game like this and remember all of these buttons. Like, it it's not good. So, evade, I want to make control. Okay, at least we can do that. Uh, parry, we can make shift. That is relatively intuitive. Action button is G, I guess. So Z and X is basically, and C is gonna be our attacking stuff, basically. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so that's normal attack, basically. And then X, I don't have any power for X. C does nothing. Shift is parry, and then control is dodge forward, or excuse me, dodge backwards. I drank some coke earlier. Uh, so I don't know what, like, how do you F? 
G. Ah, there we go, G. Check out Shinji's logs. Looks like they're encrypted. Okay. So you press G in order to interact with stuff like this. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's go out the left, maybe. Checkpoint, if you ever fall during battle, your body will be reconstructed at the last visited checkpoint. Convenient. You can activate the elevator by pressing the quick attack button on the lever. I probably can't go up there until I have double double jump, probably. Lost sectors, okay, so that's gonna be lost sectors. And then yeah, double jump we holy shit. Okay, I can't jump while being launched. That would have maybe been a way how I can um get up there, but no, they don't allow me to jump while being launched to there. I guess I need to jump down once that thing gets to the bottom. I guess that's a way to force you to to not be able to go back up again. Okay, I can't jump up there because I don't have double jump. Uh, jump and grab. A. Hey, what button is A? Okay, well, it automatically grabbed there, so I didn't even need to press anything. I sense danger. Use your quick attack to dispose the enemy threat. Oh, don't forget, you can do combos if you execute your quick attack in rapid succession. So basically, smash X. Is that what you're telling me? Quick attacks don't deal a lot of damage, but they do recharge your... Void. Pay attention to the white bar at the left corner as you fight your next enemy. The white bar, okay. You can spend void to use your weapons and combat abilities you'll find on your journey. You can avoid enemy attacks hazards by rolling out of harm's way. So yeah, rolling I made control and then shift is parry. Enemies drop bits. This is a currency that can be exchanged all around the mega structures. Don't be shy in defeating all potential threats. You could drop material that will become useful to you in the future. Uh, okay, so that shows the right stick. I don't have a right stick, so... Um... Yeah, I, I'm pressing keys on the keyboard, which I think it would be. Okay, so that's map. So we have a map. But yeah, I don't know what the... Uh, the right stick buttons would be, and I'm too lazy to check my controls right now. So all of these things, like when, when kicking that chest, there's no sound. Just remember the... That this is a pre-early access version of the game. Obviously everything will have sounds once we uh, once the game actually releases. What's this? Oh, saving. Okay, so that saves, I guess. Let this powerful fist is able to change size with blast energy. Use it to defeat the hell, to beat the hell out of enemies. So ground 
attack combo is attack, attack, attack. Air punch is jump and attack. And uppercut is up and attack. Okay. So up and attack. And then attack, attack, attack. Okay, well that's not doing anything. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, but that spends... That spends power if I do that. So attack, 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 I don't know. That's not doing anything, but but up and attack does an uppercut and then jump and attack. Doesn't show to be doing anything, but I don't know. Maybe we have to actually be attacking someone. Be careful. Uh, the gauntlet deals great damage, but also consumes a void. Keep an eye on your void as you fight these conveniently dropped goon robots. So convenient. Oh, and jump down. Can you can you jump down or not? Apparently not. These guys are much more powerful than the other guys. And then this guy, I will do the... Yeah, so that does that, and then... Does quite a lot of damage. 15. Compared to the normal attack, which does 2. So it's like almost 10 times as powerful, just with a single punch. Uh, you can also finish enemies in glorious fashion when they're stunned. Once their HP is critical, press attack near them for powerful finishers. Brutalizing enemies will generate void spears which will recover void in large amounts. That is... Uh, why? 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 You see, that's a, the issue. They're saying why, but they're meaning why on the on the the controller. I can't even look at the controller controls. Yeah, it doesn't even allow me to look at the controller controls. So you have to think about an an Xbox controller. What would the why be on the Xbox controller? I don't know, maybe it's the combat ability, maybe it's the ability attack, so it's maybe D or something, I don't know. We have to try everything, I guess. Why? Why? Oh. Okay, so it is um, the normal attack thing, so that and then that. Um, so it's basically the gauntlet attack, just the regular gauntlet attack thing. Uh, the game has disappearing loot. I hate games with disappearing loot. Like I despise games with disappearing loot, so that's not good. Okay, so that deals a lot of damage. I don't know if it will deal 999 to all enemies, but we will see. Uh, upwards attack. Is that attack? Just normal attack? So upwards and attack, and then right and attack, and then down and attack. How the holy hell? I will never do that during regular combat. So up and attack, nope, up and attack, up and attack, left and attack, down and attack. Like, you're, you're never gonna be able to do that. That's ridiculous. Uh, you're never gonna be able to do that during regular uh, combat. Uh, I did press Y there, and he, she didn't e execute him, she just punched him, so that's an issue. Like, it did show me the Y, and I did press Y, and she punched him instead of executing him. Uh, okay, so this is block. 
I'm assuming LB is block. You can stun enemies by parrying their attacks with the parry button. Yeah, I probably won't be doing that. Yeah, so hint parryable attacks flash blue before enemies land strikes. Blah 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 blah. Now, I don't really care. Um, I don't parry in games, so I don't really care too much. Okay, well, I did parry. And then you can execute him. So when you parry, it uh, reduces the orange or the yellow bar of the enemy. So that is something worth remembering. Down. Down. Uh, if you find yourself injured, you can always trigger your healing function and spend void. What? Okay, so it's not down. It's something else. What would it be? S. A. No. F. D. E, C. B. E, nope. What the hell would it be? Uh, heal H, okay. So apparently H is down on the on the controller pad. H is down. So you press H, and then yeah, it converts um, some of your white stuff to health. That's worth remembering, we will certainly be healing. Holy shits. Okay. Okay, uh, this was... F... G... B. Uh, ba, 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 ba. There are two all mutant patties, atomic sauce, radioactive pickles, creamy mosquito pus, and a synthetic fluffy bun. Come on, K Napalm, the king of nuclear taste. Are you brave enough? But okay, this won't do anything. Yeah, so that's, I don't know, it's just talking bullshit. You can't actually get anything out of that. That is probably the biggest launch pad or jump pad that I've ever seen in a game. Yeah, so you can press your map to uh, open the map. Fuck. Come on, bastard. Oh, she literally rips the thing in half. Goodness gracious, this looks like Raz's backpack. We mustn't waste time in returning it back to him. Okay, let's first go... Um, over here, I saw something over here. So what's this supposed to be? Is that a big X? What are you supposed to do here? It's a big X there, but... Oh, so you can go down. Well, doesn't want me to break it. Nope. 
doesn't want me to break it so perhaps we have to come back here when we have a different ability or something like that maybe because I don't know how to break it right now I like the fact that <laughs> when you when you run it's constantly showing her panties like you don't even need to struggle to see her panties like in a lot of games you can see panties but you have to like go out of your way to see panties not in this game in this game you can see it all the bloody time uh what's this teleport you to an activated denzel station in the mega structure it is always where you'll be able to disable any components you own that's fine. Well, but you look at that. You found my backpack. I got to be honest, I thought you were going to die. I'm glad you didn't, though, now that I've got a proper reward for you. So, listen, the sector has two different exits. This key opens both gates, east and west. Unlock them, and you'll be able to explore the world beyond. One last thing. If you find any components along the way, bring them back to me. Maybe I can give you an upgrade or two. Thanks, man. Although I find your lack of faith disturbing, there was no way those silly bugs were going to stop me. Yeah, I know, I know. You just go out there and bring Sinji back. Okay, so we get the hidden key. Okay, so there was obviously a door on the left side. I'm assuming there's a door on the right side as well. Okay, door to where? The other one said the lost sectors or something like that. And detecting an attempt to at communication with the outside coming from the top level of this area we should investigate okay map okay so this is the bloody den uh, world map how do you get to the world map zoom in and out rt and lt how the hell am i supposed to figure out what is rt and lt Okay. Oh, apparently we can upgrade ourselves somehow, eventually, maybe. Uh, I've got no idea what L RT and LT are. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Figured it out. Okay, wow, that's very far away. Okay, well, I guess let's go. Let me see if I can read this properly. Harm. Biohazard epidemic. Keep out. Quarantine area. Infonet Corporation. I'm sure that when the game actually releases, all of these places will be voiced and uh, uh, have music and all that. Right now, none of these zones so far have had music. But I'm pretty sure they will have music when the game releases, obviously. Elevator key card. Uh, help. Jesus, what the F happened to this guy? Canning, there is an extreme rapid mutation cascading through this biological systems. Can you get a little closer? Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. You know, wait, I'm fine here where i'm at just look at him he's got him i good eyes looks like they pop out of his head any second fine i'm attempting to observe the phenomenon from here in order to establish a course you listen listen to me don't eat the big big thing uh look you're not looking too good are you sick is it a virus is there something we can do to help 
You're clearly in some distress. Just kill me, please kill me. Yeah, no, sorry man, you're gonna have to write this one out on your own. Are you sick? Is it a virus? You may have been affected with a virus. Do you know anything about it? She's eating my brain. Oh god. Kujira. Oh god. Well, at least we can see he's not faking it. You're not, not looking too good, man. You're not looking too good, man. What the hell happened to you? Maybe you ate some expired food. Don't think that's the source of the problem. It's a big space mammal. Not good. Regina, do you ha think he's hallucinating? I'm not really sure. Okay, well, she uh, or he uh, said we should kill him. Uh, I mean, okay, well, we can't kill him. So that's out of the door. I like it that if you uh, hit the enemies, they they bump like they they fly backwards and they bump against the environment. I like that. You don't see that a lot in uh, these games. Oh, I can heal as well. So we might as well do that when we have to choose between leaving um, resources on the, gro on the ground or uh, um, healing. We obviously will, will want to use healing instead. I pressed Y there again and... Um, it didn't um, do it. it didn't uh, rip him in half or anything like that. Okay, so I don't think I can get there without double jump, probably. Uh, is this a teleporter? I oh, know, that's just saving. Would it be nice if they gave the uh, executing sound a sound, or the executing ability a sound? But like I said, all of that stuff will be in the, the final game, obviously. Okay, that guy fell down. I wonder if they take damage if they fell fall down. See there again, uh, the Y was present, and I did press Y, and um, the uh, she didn't tear his ass apart, which is uh, unfortunate. So it's a definitely a bug in the game because I've now already encountered it multiple times, but obviously. The game shouldn't have those bugs once it fully releases, so it's not really something that will alter my opinion of the game. Okay, so we, we need an ID there. I'm quite damaged, so let's heal ourselves. I'd rather use my, my power on healing myself than on um, inflicting damage or anything like that. Holy shit, he knocked me out of the air there. Uh, it's not good that you can't interrupt the 
attacks of the enemies because that means you only have two alternatives you have to parry or you have to dodge and considering that the attacks are very fast like look at that you, you have like less than a second to dodge like that's that's a little bit uh it's not very conceivable look at that shit you're never going to be able to dodge fast enough which means you're left with basically just um parrying like and that's not good like if you don't give the player any alternatives, you know, like if the if you literally have to dodge and you have no alternatives, there again I pressed Y and uh, instead of ripping the enemy apart, um, she just hit him normally. Um, if you don't give the player any inventiveness, any alternatives to a certain action like then it's bad you know like you should allow the player to either dodge uh, or parry or anything else you know and really you don't have that option you have to parry like you you can't move out of the way uh, fast enough so your only option is to parry that's the only thing that will be able to protect you um and that's not good in my opinion and then on top of that like i said you should be able to interrupt the enemies um attacks you know like by um just hitting them with a flurry of attacks you know normally in these types of games that will interrupt the uh, charging attacks of the enemies if you just keep on hitting them um obviously on bosses and stuff like that it won't work but in this game you can't interrupt their attacks so you have to dodge or evade and since dodging won't work you can't dodge the attack in time that means you have to parry so you literally have only one alternate one one option and as someone who doesn't parry I, I don't parry. I don't play games that, like, even in Dark Souls, a game where you can parry, I don't parry. I go through the entire game without parrying. It's just something that I don't do. I will dodge, no problem, but I don't parry ever. And in this game, you have no, no alternative. So that's not good. I don't like that. Giving the player zero alternative. And like I said, you should be allowed or able to to um to interrupt the attack of the enemies fucking how they attack fast like power attack power attack like they they do two power attacks in two seconds like it's so fast and once again you don't really realistically have a choice other than parrying like that's really your only only option is parrying can't realistically dodge that because it's so fast and they attack twice in two seconds so not only is the attack fast but they repeat it very fast very quickly i don't know if i'm going to be able to beat this boss without parrying Oh, 
Also, the game doesn't have lock-on at all. And as you guys can see, it is a very easy for the enemy to go behind you. There I was hit twice with a power attack. Let's see if you can hit him in there. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, that's cool. So you can actually um, hit the enemies into the environment. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so we can't get up there right now. Holy shit. I don't want to go up there. Holy tits. Like why? What the hell? Holy shit. Well, that's really unfair. Like, my attacks just went right through the enemy, so... Uh, the hitboxes are not correct. Definitely, that's something the developer needs to work on. The hitboxes are... Yeah. <laughs> they leave a lot to be desired, that's for certain. What, did I need to hit that thing or what? Okay, what did that do? Because it doesn't look like it did anything. We are all fuel starters to all our brothers and sisters who have managed now, have merged now with the gods of void. Fuel starters, gods of void, what's this supposed to mean? Humans are not like us, they do not know who created them. They also fear death more than any other living creature. So when death occurs, they need to find a way out. They invent reasons in their absence of knowledge. So humans made up their own maker, how silly. In creation, all creatures are creators. There's no end and no beginning, just an endless movement. And you are a part of it, just like everything else. Whoa, whoa, that's deep. Not really, it's just basic math. I can't get up there because I don't have double jump. I don't really like the idea of backtracking. Okay, can't go in there. Now I have to get past this bastard. Like, I, I can try to kill that thing, but I'm not going to be able to. Because like I said, you can't interrupt the attacks of enemies. Um, so you have to parry, and I don't parry, so we can try, I want that other guy to go close, there we go, holy hell, what's going on with the hitboxes on this bastard, I'm not even hitting it, okay, so it's like immune or something, holy tits, Okay, yeah, so that's that's a pretty big glitch, um, not being able to hit the enemy at all, but like I said, uh, this is uh, not even early access, free early access, so you are going to encounter stuff like that, so don't let that taint your opinion on the game at all, and there I complete, completely disappeared for some reason. You are going to get leeches like this in uh, these types of uh, demo, uh, game demos, essentially. Even though this is even before a demo, I would say. But yeah, so far, like, I can quite honestly give you my opinion on the game already. Um, I've said it before, 
I am not a huge fan of these types of games. Um, I, I simply do not really enjoy Metroidvania, Castlevania type platforming games. Uh, the previous one that I had a look at, 7th Generation, I actually did like that game. But, like I said, the, the reason I would not play the game, and in fact I did uninstall the game after um, reviewing the game, because, like I said, um, I don't find the gameplay enjoyable. On, on on that game, on 7th generation. I don't find the gameplay enjoyable um, because um, the game doesn't have mouse uh, compatibility. Like, you can't control, you can't attack with the, the mouse at all. So, that's the only reason why I wouldn't play 7th generation. Otherwise than that, I actually like the game. I actually do like 7th generation, and it is actually a, a game, a platformer, that I would play, surprisingly, despite my, my dislike of platformer games. Like I said, I don't really like these types of games. I will play them if it's a good game, like 7th generation. But... Um, I traditionally do not enjoy these types of games. And I actually grew up playing these types of games. Um, one of the very first games that I've ever played is Commander Keen. If uh, that doesn't sound familiar to you, you can simply Google Commander Keen. Keen with a K. Commander Keen. Um, it's actually one of the very first games that was published by Activision. Uh, back in the days when they made good games. And uh, Commander Keen I used to play when I was probably around 9 years old uh, on DOS. I played it on a DOS. Uh, I think it was a, 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 four, a 486 or a 4... I think it was a 486. If a 486 doesn't ring any bells to you, then you're not as old as uh, I am. Um, it's basically a very old computer uh, that runs DOS. And uh, I actually played Commander Keen. I finished Commander Keen back in the day. I played other games like uh, Earthworm Jim. Uh, if you've never played Earthworm Jim, do yourself a favor and Google Earthworm Jim so that you can see the, the type of old games that... Um, uh, I'm talking about. So I, I used to play when I grew, grew up Earthworm Jim, uh, Commander Keen, the very old uh, Lion King games as well, the very first Lion King games. All of those games were platformers. Like, um, platforming is one of the first genres of games um, that were on PC, you know, um, they were very, very popular. Also, Sonic, the older Sonic games, and obviously Super Mario Brothers, all of those games are platformer games. So, I grew up playing platformer games uh, quite a lot, like probably hundreds and hundreds of hours invested in those types of games, but as I grew older, it's just a, a genre that I don't enjoy anymore. I, I don't really get a lot of pleasure from um, playing um, those types of games anymore. So a gamer really has to do something special, in my opinion, to be enjoyable for me anymore. If it's a, a game of this type, you know, a... a uh, platformer game and um, a game like seventh generation actually does that I would actually play seventh generation if it had mouse support now this game doesn't have mouse support and I have to be honest with you so far 
I'm not enjoying the game. Um, seventh generation has very good character progression. So you have skills, you have talents, you have spells. You have uh, itemization, which is basically you have green items, blue items, purple items, yellow items, you know, different rarities of items um, that you can equip on your on your character. Uh, you have a chest, you have swords, you have bows, you have staffs, you have a helmet, you have rings, just a whole bunch of RPG items and I really like RPG stuff I really like character progression so if you put all of that stuff into a platformer I will play the platformer like it it, it will make me play a genre which I traditionally do not enjoy and unfortunately this game doesn't have that this game doesn't have very much in the way of character uh, character progression the only character prog progression that I can really see is uh, different weapons, but the weapons just really are different attacks. Like the weapons, like the gauntlet. It's just different attacks, basically. So that's not really weapons as you would find in a game like 7th Generation. And then there's components. I actually saw a screenshot. Maybe I can show you guys on the Steam page. Um, right here, one second, bear with me. Uh, so we do that, and then boom. Uh, so, and then we go over here. So, um, if you look at the, uh, uh, the screenshots they actually show different weapons so currently we have the um, the gauntlet and so you get different weapons you get the bike you get um, uh, guitar chainsaw different stuff like that so those are your weapons which are basically your abilities different ways to kill enemies and then you get special attacks and stuff like that. I don't think I've unlocked a special attack yet. And you can see some of the maps are particularly large. That's one of the special attacks where you slide along the ground with the guitar. That's a special attack. Uh, we already saw that. And then these are the components you slot in on your component bar. Uh, as you can see there. You slot them in on your component bar and they take a certain amount of energy so you can you certain uh, certain one of them will take two energy some will take three energy and so on and so forth and then you get different abilities from them like this one um, increases the range of attacks and stuff like that so you you do get some character customization and character progression but from what i can see there's no skill points and no talents either um, in the game so basically the only um, character progression that you really have is the components like the weapons aren't character progression, they don't actually enhance your character, they simply allow your character to attack in different ways. The components are character progression, oh, I should probably do that. Um, the, the components are character progression, and these abilities, um, they're just different abilities. So yeah, you will unlock different abilities as you go um through the game but it's not really the same as having different talents you know different talents and skills and that kind of stuff there you can see 
you get an uh, air dash you will probably get double jump so that one over there is actually double jump so it's just different abilities which will by and large involve traversal so they're basically traversal um, abilities um, that's a special attack that's the hammer thing that's another special attack she she gets on a bike and then she she drives around maybe i can actually show you guys there's the chainsaw special attack there's the kick the the kicking special attack there's the fist again and i'm assuming oh you can also upgrade your weapons so which will obviously make the weapons more powerful let's see if we can see a uh, bit of gameplay here that we haven't seen yet so that's the chainsaw special ability We already saw that you can actually use the environment to attack as well. There's a bunch of special attacks. Ah, you see, that's the thing that I must unlock before we can get through that other area. Well, would you look at that? You found my backpack. <laughs> that's a boss fight, obviously. There's the components, there's the abilities. Yeah, so that's not too bad. We saw some stuff that we didn't see yet during the game. How's Bill built to entertain my creator? There was another attack just now with that blade that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, and then that one you use to break through to the to the bottom areas. That's another attack we haven't seen yet. You can launch a whole bunch of missiles and even attack stuff that are above you. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then with that one, you can even, while in mid-air, you can, like, aim the attack and move through the air in a specific direction. That's pretty cool. I really like the the art style of the game like uh, that really looks cool um, all of the blood and gore and that kind of stuff like it looks cool you know I like the art style of the game but I have to be honest with you um, I'm not a fan of just like the gameplay like, like I said I I don't traditionally play these games um i do i actually can show you guys maybe over here um i i i did already already do a review on the game uh where is it uh i bought a shitload of games recently um where is it where is it i still need to do a review on this one this one and this one uh recently did a review on that one uh where the hell seventh where's seventh why am i not, not seeing it seventh domain there we go so um i 
did a review on this one. I really like this one. I really like it. Even though it's mixed. Why is it mixed? Ah, oh, well, 67, that's not too bad. Um, I really like this one because it has a lot of RPG stuff. Even though the game shows up as Chinese, it is actually in English. Um, like, the talent tree and skill tree is really what I like a lot. I like character progression, whereas... This game doesn't have any character progression apart from the um, components, you know. Like, really, apart from the components, there really isn't any character progression in the game. And I, I'm, I'm a sucker for character progression and being able to make your character more powerful, you know. Um, so I really like that about the game. Uh, that's just basically the, the mapping system. Um, the boss fights are really cool as well, even though, like, they're really brutal. The one one boss absolutely squished me. Um, but it's one of those games where you're basically forced to uh, do some farming, because there's a leveling system in the game, so you're you're forced to do farming, you're forced to go back previous areas and level your character up and get stronger uh, weapons and stronger gear and and that kind of stuff and it's also still exactly the same as 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 uh, cookie cutter it's still a a um platforming game you know so like traditionally i don't like these types of games but i did like seventh domain um surprisingly but unfortunately this game doesn't have the stuff that i like it doesn't have character progression for the most part except for components um doesn't have mouse support right now but it will have mouse support when the game releases but right now it i would have liked it if it had mouse support um the um, I can't really comment on the sound or the or the music because like the game right now doesn't have music um, but obviously from the trailer the steam trailer that we just um, saw it did have music even though that wasn't in-game music that was the trailer music so I can't really comment on the um, the in-game music at all um, but I like the art style. Like, I like the animations, I like the art style, I like the mechanical world, and then uh, the bugs that you can tear apart, the robots that you can tear apart, and you see their, um, their oil and shit all over the place. Like, I like that a lot. Um... But I have to be honest with you, I don't like the gameplay overall. Um, but that really just comes down to me. That comes down to me being a player who doesn't really enjoy these types of games. Like I say, um, as always, if the game looks fun to you, then try it, you know, absolutely try it, you know, when, when the game actually releases. Um, that's all I can do, I can just give you my opinion, but like I say, I am biased in this regard, because I don't like these types of games. It's the same with uh, sports games, I hate sports games, golf, uh, soccer, um, any any of those types of games, you know, football, um, I don't like those types of games. Um, so, like, this game isn't bad, obviously. Um, the animations are good. The combat is good. The art style is good. Um, I just don't like the fact that the hitboxes right now are completely fucked up, as we saw when we fought that big dude. I don't like the fact 
that there is no alternative to parrying. Like, you have to parry in this game. You can't dodge. Dodging is not fast enough. The, the, the enemies attack faster than what you can dodge. You won't be able to dodge their attacks, especially the, that, that big dude that we fought, because the, the poison attack that that dude did is, is bigger than your dodging range. So you will not be able to dodge those attacks. And obviously, as we saw in that, that Steam trailer, there's some bigger attacks even than that. Um, on some bosses you won't be able to dodge them so you have to parry you are forced to parry in the game and um, that's stupid like what's the point of putting a dodge in the game if you can't really use it I haven't dodged a single attack in the entire game because you can't really dodge like parrying is simply the way the game is meant to be played and that's the only only thing you can do you can't really um, uh, dodge and you can't interrupt the attacks of the enemies at all you can keep on attacking them you cannot interrupt their attacks which is another thing that i don't like about the game in the other game seventh uh, domain you can interrupt enemies certain enemies um, and they also have a stagger bar, so if you continue to attack them, they eventually stagger, which means they take more damage. I really like that, and uh, that's simply something that isn't in this game. So, really, at the end of the day, like I say, I, I am someone who don't like these types of games, but I am um, objective enough to be able to say that this game is not bad. Um... There's a couple of things that, like I say, uh, the disappearing loot is not good. The fact that you can only parry, like that's your only form of defense, your only realistic form of defense in the game, that's not good. You know, you, you should be given more um, choices. You should be able to interrupt the enemy's attacks and you should also be allowed to dodge uh, attacks like you should be you should go um, invulnerable when dodging that that's the way it should work you should be invulnerable while dodging now I'm not saying that you should be allowed to dodge constantly you know because then you will be invulnerable constantly but usually there's a cooldown on the invulnerable period in most of these types of games so you should be allowed to have more defenses than simply dodging uh, or uh, simply parrying. Like, simply pa parrying being your only form of defense is is not good. Um, but yeah, otherwise than that, like I said, can't really comment on uh, the music, even though from the trailer, the trailer music sounds good, but that's not really in-game music. And um, otherwise than that, like, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the game doesn't have any real character progression other than the components. But this game is much more of a arcade type um, platformer. Like, you get arcade platformers, uh, like Mario, for instance, and Sonic. And then you get more lasting progression platformers, like uh, 7th Domain, for instance, and a couple others, a Metroid and those, that actually give you more lasting progression. Um, and this one is arcadey, and it will certainly appeal to people who like arcadey um platformers. I'm personally someone who doesn't like arcadey platformers, so my personal opinion is that I don't enjoy the game, so I wouldn't recommend the game, but if you are someone who does enjoy arcadey platformers and arcadey gameplay and doesn't care that much about 
uh, lasting progression because the game doesn't have any real, like, um, not lasting progression, but character progression. Uh, the game only has this, which you can use for, for character progression. Um, if you don't care about that that much, then totally the game should be enjoyable to you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a price. I don't even have a re release date right now, but like if I were to think about how much I would pay for this game, even though like I said, I, I, I personally wouldn't buy this game because I personally don't enjoy this game. But if I were to pay for this game, considering the art style, the quality of the environment, um, the quality of the controls, um, all of that kind of stuff, I would say I would pay $20 for this game. I think $20 would be a fine price for this game. Not much more, to be honest, because the, the platformer, the Metroidvania, Castlevania platformer um, genre is absolutely filled with really fantastic um, games. Like if you look at stuff like Metroidvania, uh, Metroid for instance, Metroid, uh, Castlevania, uh, Rogue Legacy is another one that's really fantastic. Um, I mean, we can just have a look here. Um, Ori, even though Ori isn't a, an arcadey type um, platformer, it's a platformer, but but it's not arcadey. Hollow Knight is arcadey, so something like Hollow Knight will definitely be uh, to your liking, and it's actually pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, that Dead Cells is another good one. Um, Dead Cells is actually quite fantastic and uh, Dead Cells is $25 so I wouldn't really pay more than $20 for this game simply because there are some really fantastic uh, platformer games like Dead Cells and Rogue Legacy is another very good one Hollow Knight um, stuff like that you know the, the, the um, platforming genre has some really fantastic uh, uh, games and um, basically all of them are at or below twenty dollars. You know, so uh, I wouldn't really pay more than twenty dollars for the game, to be honest. But yeah, I can definitely say it's not a bad game. It's not a game that I personally would play, um, but um, I don't enjoy these types of games, even though, like I said, I can determine whether or not the game is good, good quality, good combat, all of that kind of stuff. And in my opinion, it, it is. Um, so yeah, guys, that is Cookie Cutter. Uh, thanks a lot for watching today. Thanks a lot for the developer for sending me a key. Um, in the cases where the developer does not send me a key, I rely in uh, a large part on you guys and your support on patreon.com forward slash lfp for the games that developers don't send me keys i end up uh, using the money that i get from uh, my patreon members to buy games and do more reviews for you guys so if you guys want to see more reviews then uh, that is one good way to support the channel and to see more content uh, from me so uh, yeah guys that is pretty much it thanks a lot to, for watching and i will see you guys next time